A very good morning. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Rafina Sejian and here we look at stories making headlines across the country. We kick start off today's bulletin from Hoima District. Visiting United Nations HIV AIDS Agency Executive Director Michael Sidibe has applauded Umukama of Bunyoro Solomon Gafawsa Iguri's leadership in the fight against the spread of HIV AIDS. Sidibe made the remarks on Friday while meeting the Umukama at Karuzika Palace in Hoima Town. He said Bunyoro has done a lot not only in fighting HIV AIDS, but also its hospitality reflected through accepting to host thousands of refugees from South Sudan, DR Congo, Kenya, and Rwanda. Bunyoro hosts two big refugee settlement camps of Nyangari and Chidiandongo. The father of the current king, the late Sir Chito Winnie, is said to have donated the square miles of land where the refugees reside. According to the national statistics, the HIV prevalence rate in Bunyoro Kingdom reduced from 8.2% in 2011 to 5.5% by 2017. The national prevalence is 6%. In appreciation, CDB offered a plug to the king. Omukama Yaguri is known for always carrying a message of to his subjects on HIV AIDS in most of his speeches. Moving on to Mukono District, the government has launched mass registration of fishermen and licensing of fishing boats on Lake Victoria. Agriculture Minister Vincent Simpija, who launched the project, said the exercise, which is to last two months, will limit overfishing on the lake. Simpija said President Yorim Seveni recently issued a directive requiring registration of all fishermen and their boats. He added that the ministry plans to implement this directive by licensing all fishermen on Lake Victoria with priority given to indigenous fishermen. Simply just stress that whoever will not have paid for their license by the end of April 2018 will not be allowed to fish. Sempija launched the exercise on Wednesday during the closure of a two-day stakeholders consultative workshop on licensing a trader hotel in Seta Mukono. The workshop was attended by district fishermen officers, chief, chief administrative officers, resident district commissioners, MPs, fishermen representatives, and fish processing companies. Before we move on to other stories making headlines across Uganda, let's look at what is making headlines in your copy of The New Vision. The headlining story today is UCC to switch off fake phones. Also, find out how to tell if your mobile phone is fake. Also, in The New Vision, what's next for crime preventers? We have details in your copy. In your copy of the New Vision, we have the infrastructure pullout. The headlining story today is junctions upgrade to Kiwa City Jam. We also have the healthy and beauty pullout. The headlining story here is your happiness can be ruined by burnout. So get your copy and find details. From sports, uh, junior golfers claim bronze in Morocco district. We have details in your copy of the New Vision, which is only 2,000 shillings and remember we are the leading daily we move on to other stories making headlines across the country and from Rukunjiri district farmers have been advised to take advantage of the rains and plant quick maturing crops such as beans and ground nuts as well as cassava and potatoes to prevent hunger in the coming months the advice was given by the Rukunjiri district agriculture coordinator Zefa Chiliaija he said rains are likely to last until the end of April, adding that quick maturing crops will be ready for harvest before the drought begins. Karaja urged farmers to prepare early and have enough food to avoid what happened last year when many families in some parts of the country lost children due, due to hunger. He also advised farmers to use the rains to plant bananas to reduce those that have been destroyed by wilt.
Moving on to Kumi District, Kumi Boma Grounds on Saturday turned into a theater of drama as the district woman MP Monika Amoding took on the organizers of the Women's Day celebrations for inviting her rival Christine Amogin Opur as chief guest. It all started when Amoding was invited to speak by Silas Angon, the MP for Kumi Municipality. As soon as she was handed the microphone, Amoding turned to the district officials accusing them of poor organization and not inviting her for the celebrations. The furious MP questioned why the district invited her predecessor, Amogin, as chief guest. She said if the district had involved her, she would have invited one of the female ministers who would bring goodies for women's groups in the district, but they instead invited Amogin, who came empty handed. She said she had secured 10 million shillings for the function, but when the district side lined her, she put it to better use. The, she then promised to buy gomeses for the women in the district. After filming for several minutes, Amoding was then asked to invite Amongin, which she did. And finally, from Jinja District, the man who defiled a three-year-old minor has been sentenced to 12 years and eight months imprisonment after he was convicted of aggravated defilement. Court had that 30-year-old Joseph Carter, a resident of Mafumbira Zone B, Mafumbira Sub County, Jinja District, defiled a minor after he lured her while playing with her, ch with her fellow children in the house. The incident, according to prosecution, occurred on June 27, 2015. Ugandan law defines defilement as the act of having sex with a girl under 18 years, while rape is having sex with a woman without her consent, usually by force. Often defilement involves relatives, married men, or professional people. And that's all I had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website www.newvision.co.ug. I am Rafi Naseje.